Hi there YouTube and welcome to this video. In this video I would like to show you a much easier way of installing Windows 11 without using a Microsoft online account. All you need is a USB thumb drive and a little tool, but let me show you. The first thing we need to do is to download Windows 11 from Microsoft's official website. So go ahead and find that, you can just Google for it. Scroll down to the Windows 11 disk image ESO and pick the only version here you can and click download. Then choose your language. I'm just going to choose English for this video. And then you can go ahead and do a 64-bit download. While we wait for this to download, we can download the tool we'll need to create the USB thumb drive. For this, we will use a tool called Rufus. And you can go ahead and fetch this on rufus.ie. So just scroll down the page and go ahead and grab the portable version of Rufus. There we go. Now we're ready and we're just waiting for the download of the ESA file to complete. Okay, we now have all the files we need to create our Windows Media. So now open up the Rufus tool from your downloads folder and give it admin privileges. In the top, make sure the correct USB device is selected and make sure that USB drive is empty, by the way, everything on it will be deleted permanently. Next thing you'll do is next to this disk or ESO, just click the button select and select the ESO file you just downloaded. Everything else will set itself up as it's supposed to. If you want to though, you can change the name of the USB thumb drive when this process is completed. I'm going to change the name here. It makes it a little bit easier when you insert the USB thumb drive in a computer in half a year and forgot what's on it to just know what's on it. Next, click start. In here, you're going to make sure the two top checkboxes are checked. This is going to remove the uh, secure boot and TPM limits, and it's also going to remove the requirement for an online Microsoft account. If you want, you can check this one, disable data collection, and it will skip the privacy questions at the end of the installation of Windows. I'm gonna leave it though, but you can click it if you want to. Hit okay, and then give it a couple of seconds to figure out if it's ready. And when it's ready, it's gonna pop up with this. It's gonna warn you that everything on the USB thumb drive will be deleted and click OK to continue. So we'll just click OK and it's gonna start creating the USB thumb drive. It'll take about 10 to 15 minutes depending on your USB thumb drive to create. After this, you can install Windows like you would on any other computer and it isn't until you start up the computer for the first time, you'll need to do one final step. So let's get this thumb drive created and let me show you what to do. All right, Rufus now completed creating the thumb drive and I installed Windows 11 in a Hyper-V virtual machine. At this point, it would be tempting to just click through the dialogs and finish the setup of Windows 11. But if your computer is connected to the internet via ethernet, or if you have a wireless connection in your computer, it might still try to force an online account on you. And to get around this little problem, we'll need to disable the network completely. In order to do this, hit Shift F10 on your keyboard to bring up a command prompt. When you bring it up, just click the title bar to gain control of it, otherwise it won't type anything. Then we'll need to open up the device manager and we can do that with this little command that I have written down here. And if you would do me a favor and just please look away from the screen right now, like please, because I kind of made a typer or two, but whatever, lol, there we go. When you have the device manager open, open up the network adapters and then locate either your wireless network or your ethernet adapter, right click it and then click disable. Click yes. And now your computer is completely disconnected from the internet and we can just close these two windows down and we can finish the window setup. So I'm just gonna click yes here to Denmark and that's where I am and just get rid of that. And I'm going to try and choose Danish as my keyboard link, uh, layout here, but uh, for some reason it didn't want to do that. Uh, at least not with shortcuts, but anyway. And here we is where it's trying to cram this uh, online account down our throats, but we tell it we don't have internet and we want to continue with a limited setup. Your computer might restart at this point, mine didn't, but yours might. So we can type in our username and skip creating a password. If you want a password, set it later. That way you won't have to create any security questions. 
This is the privacy questions that I mentioned before. If you make the last checkbox I showed you in Rufus, it'll skip these questions and basically have them all pre-answered as no. But we're just going to click no to them all here and go through. At this point, the last thing we have to do is re-enable our network connections and we'll need Windows to finish up its setup for that. So let's just give it a few seconds to do that. There we go. The Windows setup has now completed and I'll need to reconnect to my Hyper-V machine here for some reason. There we go. And sign in. There we go. Now all you have to do to re-enable your network is right click the flag in the taskbar, or the start button if you will, click the device manager, and in here, right click the network adapters you disabled and then re-enable them. Once you have re-enabled them all, Windows is set up without an online account. Thank you for watching this video.